Devon has a whole new career opportunity laying right ahead of him. And I, I think it's going to be a good one. Okay, you ready? I think that Devon should be the next new private eye with Paul Williams' investigations. Because he figured out that Chloe is interested in Kane and that she's, you know, kind of playing some tricks to try to get close to him with very little evidence. I was very impressed with Devon on that. And I think that uh, we need to put Devon on the case of who killed Jimin. Let's just give him all of the files. He can figure it out. We can all just sleep easier at night knowing the answer to that question. So come on, Devon. He knows the truth. I'm very proud of him. But uh, for Chloe, you know, the, the best way to keep the truth from coming out of his mouth, clearly, is to just kiss him. Makes perfect sense to me. I mean, you guys get that, right? You're, we're totally on the same level. We all agree with Chloe's wise decision making here. Yeah, the girl is um, pretty much uh, crazy pretty crazy. Um, you know, actually, I was gonna say in a previous vlog that I could see Devon and Chloe hooking up in the near future. Not that, like, they have so much in common, because clearly everyone that Chloe encounters cannot hardly stand to be in the same room with her, but I just think that, you know, there's so much tension there that, uh, the best way to really get that out would be maybe like a hot love making scene like they maybe they could i mean you never know heather and adam totally surprised me so i wouldn't be surprised if uh all of a sudden devon and chloe were into it i don't know devon had kind of a smile on his face there at the end of the the kissing we didn't really get much of his reaction but i mean i, I don't know i don't know i wonder if devon thinks about it hmm. but like devon devon needs a life um he's a good actor he's a good character but he needs to be doing something more than just running interference between Lily and Kane and Chloe. That's all he does. So maybe he needs a little spark in his in his life. I don't like Chloe necessarily. Like I don't think I don't think they would be a good couple. Um, but uh, he needs something. He needs somebody. Somebody needs to come along and kind of take control of that Devon kid. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. Well, I don't know. What What's the scoop about that? What do you guys, what do you, what's, what's the buzz going on in the YNR community about uh, Devon and Chloe and the kiss? Hmm. I don't know. I gotta tell you, I am really happy about the fact that the stupid lawsuit between Jabot and um, Newman is over with. But, you know... Newman won. Newman won the lawsuit. And Victor could, like, barely contain himself during that meeting. I mean, he got this, this grin on his face, just like Cheshire Cat, like... You know, he had, he had just, like, I don't know, snagged a bird or something. But that was mortifying for Nikki. I, I have to say, I felt pretty pretty bad for her. Like, Victor wanted to rub it in. And, um, of course, Brad had to rub it in. He comes into the office with uh, Nikki and David and, and gives them a report about how much the lawsuit cost them. Like, thanks, Brad, for all your helpful data. We really, really appreciate you just letting us know. Like, dig, dig is basically what he was doing. Um, so, Jabot lost the lawsuit. Nikki does not look good right now. I do think she did it for personal reasons. Um, and she did lose the company some money because of it. So, I don't know, man. They should have seriously done some better research or something to not lose that lawsuit. It just seemed like it was kind of like... It seemed like it was going to go Jabot's way, and the next thing we know, Newman is winning it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, Nikki seems like she's just in deep water all together. Um, and frankly, I'm surprised Jill hasn't fired her. With as much as, as Jill micromanages her, and is just ugh, unbearable, unbearable, I'm just surprised that she hasn't fired Nikki. I mean, honestly, I don't even think that she, Catherine is that much of a consideration here. I think that if, if Jill wanted to fire Nikki, she would have. So I don't know. I'm 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 surprised, and I I I, I would um, not be surprised if maybe that started coming along in a couple of days. But um, yeah. So Newman won the lawsuit, and so that gets Adam off the hook, which is kind of good. 
I'm kind of excited about that because maybe, just maybe, that will uh, loosen him up a little bit so he can have some more fun with Heather, which is like my new favorite storyline and I want to see more, more. Um, but so Heather and, and Paul were having dinner and um, Adam kind of came to the table and so it seems like Paul's also very perceptive and um, kind of got right away that, that Heather and Adam are an item. So let's see what Paul has to say about this. He really didn't seem to comment very much. You know, Paul will probably investigate him. Next thing we know, there'll be a full-on investigation launched on Adam. Um, but we'll see. I'm curious to know if Paul approves of the relationship, but whether or not he does, it doesn't matter because I'm telling you, Adam and Heather are GC's hot new couple. I am totally into it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of those two. So... That's the end, I think, for for this episode for right now. Um, my hard drive is back up. My computer is mostly functioning. Um, so you should be seeing a new video from me probably over the weekend. I would say like Saturday. So um, keep your eyes open. In the meantime, if you're watching these videos and anything like jumps into your mind, I would love it if you guys would post some text comments or, hey, make your own videos. I think that it doesn't have to be anything fancy schmancy. Just turn on your webcam and record like your thoughts about YNR and feel free to post them as a video response to my videos and we can kind of get some good dialogue going. Um, I would be really excited to see those. So turn on your webcams. Have a great week, everybody, and I will see you to talk about the show a little bit later. Bye!